review just a concept that we went over with our trading development community this morning, looking at auction structure and using the information generated by the auction to make better trading decisions. You know, we're, we're in a headline driven environment and it can be just, there can be so much news. It can, it can really shake you out in some degrees. The news is meant to do that, but wanted to go look at, at a, a prior time of volatility that, and how, how that auction behaved, and that might give you some great comfort and insight into what to lean on as you're making decisions in the, the context that we find ourselves in. So I just want to start here looking at a weekly basis of the S&P 500 futures. And I'm looking at uh, really a, a move that generates, um, you know, contextually where we are because we're so, you know, so driven. I want to go back all the way basically to Election Day in 2016. And I want to pull... Uh, this picture forward, just to give you an idea. This is this is a build out of uh, volume at price uh, based in that auction. And, and if you've been following us on Twitter, or looking at uh, things we've been talking about, we've been talking about this 2730 is a very key level. Well, the reason why is because that's the most traded price since the election. Um, we have another zone below us here at 2668. Um, there's less so one here at uh, 25 a and then there's one a big one right here at 24.34 so um, those are significant references what i want to look at is i want to go back to a historical auction one that had some significant volatility and i want to go all the way back to 08 and 09 and see if there's some insight that we could gain and glean uh, from that time period that could give us some insight into to how we trade going forward so if we look at the move from uh, October of 02 up to you know where we really started to peak um, in November of 07, so let's let's just look at a profile in this whole period. Okay, so this is this is looking at at the auction. This is the inventory. So it's very similar to what you're seeing now in the place that we are, and you can see some very significant nodes. Now what you want to watch is um, watching how the auction behaves as it comes down to these key levels so let's let's just draw some reference points here so let's this was a key zone um, here was a key zone here's one this is a very big one and here's one okay now notice as the auction came off even in the in the the 0809 kerfuffle, as it were. Um, notice how we interacted with these levels as we came back. So, you know, here we come into the zone, push below it, bounce above it, come back through it. Then we come into this one, pause. And again, these are weekly charts. So there's, you know, there's some pause going on in there. Down to this next node, bounce between that, come back, come down, test this larger node, push back up. I mean, like we're, we're ping ponging between these, these significant areas. And then we come back to revisit the really big one, spend several weeks there, several weeks at that area before we push down to the next one, spend a couple weeks there, and then the waterfall takes place. And I don't, what, I, what I want to suggest in that is that when you have the larger areas of build out, there, it takes longer for those to, to, to cut through. It takes a lot longer time for you to cut through those. And so you can, you can believe that the and trust that the auction is going to hold at those levels when it doesn't when they begin to fail and you accept and you're getting daily and we can close it below that then you know that you're in trouble and that's where the auction just you know really struggled now you know where does it finally find its footing there's a node back here right so where it comes into prior inventory that was an area that it found some footing and then when they push below that I mean, this this down here was trapping really, really late scared shorts. And when you reversed back through this area, um, uh, you know, that that was the opportunity, uh, the opportunity to buy. Unfortunately for me, I was I was too early in my trading development to take advantage of it. But this this would be the type of behavior that I would be looking for uh, going forward. So if we come back to where we are today, okay, so that's. That's ancient history, <laughs> right? That's ancient history. So um, if we come back to where we are today and we look at where we're uh, potentially going. In fact, I mean, in fact, if we want to go all the way back from the 09 bottom um, to the most recent top,
I mean, if, if you really want to look at a, a place that if we got below you, it'd be really scary, would be 2100. We're way, 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 way away from that currently, right? But we do have, we do have some areas. We do have some areas to watch. Uh, definitely one is this 2730. We've been right there. The next one down, if we can't hold 2730, is 2672. And then the next one is this 2595. If we can't hold there, we've got some in this 26, 2460. There's another one here and here. And just watch for the auction to do its consistent thing of auctioning back and forth. Now to the upside, if we want to get back above and get going to the upside, we got to get above 2800. If we can get above 2800, then you're looking at 29, 22, and then you're back up to new highs. We, we have no idea. I don't, you don't, we don't know when uh, or if, which of these levels will be in play. But what the profile does allow us to do is it allows us to say, hey, that's, that's an area where I should expect the auction to slow. These high volume areas are areas of acceptance, areas where the auction has accepted trade, both sides, buyers and sellers. And it's reasonable to assume in fact, that's that's your your primary assumption is that they will step up again. In fact, the more data involved in a price, the more likely it is to hold the auction up for a time. And this is true intraday as well as it is you know a longer time frame. But looking at a longer time frame here helps you see where the really really big levels are and can give you confidence of hey the more time that's baked into this level, the more likely it's going to hold, and you can build that in part of your plan. Hope that helps. Uh, if that helpful, you have any other additional questions about that, give us a holler, shoot us an email. Um, even if you want to look at a, a different product, uh, we could apply this same approach. This works whether it's you're looking at futures, looking at stocks, looking at crypto, uh, looking at Forex. Um, it's, it's, we're just mapping human behavior. That's what we're doing. All right, peace.